Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Viewer question today about spin, open string patterns. What if you created your own open string pattern? Will it give you more spin? You'll have to stay tuned. All right, guys, so what am I talking about here? Okay, so viewer question, um, Louis from Toronto, Canada writes, um, I got a silly question about holes on a tennis racket that I've been wondering about for the longest time. Do you ever use all the holes when stringing a racket? What would happen if you strung every other hole? For example, a 16 by 19 would be an 8 by 10. Would it be easier to break strings? Since it would be more of an open pattern, would that create a lot more spin and or a better ball pocketing? Hmm. Would, it, would it be possible for the ball to go through the strings if it's strung like this? Oh, Louie. I've kind of wondered this before. Um myself uh, but never really did it so you kind of nudged me to to consider and think about it a little more um hmm, so let me take a slug out of my coffee if you want to help the channel and help my caffeine uh, it's the network is buy me a coffee backslash tennis spin uh, link is below thank you in advance okay so open string pattern. We all know that Wilson did S patterns. Uh, certain rackets are made for um, spin, right? So my complaint about those S patterns was, yes, they gave you spin. And yes, they made strings break faster, which means the strings were moving more. So what if you created your own spin pattern? stringing every other one so to, to answer louis first question have i ever done it um no i've only strung what the pattern says most of the time i have strung at a tournament where i've strung all the mains but half the crosses so every other cross going down there was a pro that requested it this way um so we we did it um he was using a 14 gauge string though so it was pretty thick and it was a pretty big headed racket um so louis on your question and suggestion i took my own racket and i strung every other every other hole doesn't that look weird <laughs> i was like Ugh. So here's the thing. I had to skip the first two uh, mains because of the pattern. Like I wouldn't be able to come up this way uh, to get it strung. So we actually had to skip these two to make the pattern work. Uh, if you're a stringer, you know what I'm talking about. Um, so can a ball fit through here? Probably not. I mean, unless... Unless I break the string by hitting it so hard. Uh, so, um, Selenko Confidential 16L. Um, I increased the poundage to 55. Because with less strings, there's probably going to be more springiness and bounce. Uh, but this is every other string. It looks really weird. Especially right down the middle there. But, I mean, let's see what happens. And let's see if uh, we can handle this kind of spin and power. All right, we'll see you on the court. I would like to welcome Coach Chris back to the Tennis Spin family. He literally just got off the plane. He looks jet lagged as usual. Doesn't matter if he got off a plane or not anyway. He always looking like that. But anyways, so we got a weird contraption today. Every other string. Like I was telling you about, Coach Chris gets to try it because he's floating on the air. 
Anyways, Coach Goo's with us today too. See you on the court. So just got off the court, really interesting test today. Um, Coach Gu, what'd you think? Uh, it was definitely a lot harder to pocket a lot of balls. Um, it just felt like it slipped out of my, I slipped out of the racket so much. Um, slicing though was actually pretty fun, um, but hitting topspin, it was really tough to cover over the ball since uh, I don't know what, kind, what it feels like. It just feels like it holds and it slips right off after you make contact, but fun to slice with i don't know i really don't know what to really think about this it's kind of weird back to you coach grew hit coach goo hit the fence a lot of times was, more than i've ever seen before <clears throat> i want to kill you so <laughs> i really wanted to kill you my man's half asleep let's we'll see what he's got to say coach chris uh definitely interesting i've never seen this string pattern really especially since the first two strings here are missing uh, I thought those would probably be the most like secure that you would have in order to like hit the ball over. But um, definitely this like string pattern, uh, I felt like it was a little bit tough to control. Um, I maybe got like four, 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 five balls in, and then it just kind of just started flying everywhere. Um, if you want to inject pace on it, it just really hard to keep the ball to go, to keep the ball into the court. Um, I would find myself just spraying long hitting with this. Uh, slicing with it, it was okay. I was surprised. Um, but other than that, okay, it was an interesting string pattern to try out. Wow. That was pretty clear, concise. Maybe you should be jet lagged a little more. Coach uh, Chris. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. I like that. Coach Chris, man, I like that. He was so focused today. Anyway, so if you swung like straight up like a Nadal, I think this might work for you at like 90 pounds. But since I strung it at 55, um, it still had a lot of spring to it. So for some reason, um, it, it played way better when you sliced it. So you cut, we were able to cover the ball a lot better on slices or undercutting the ball or chipping the ball. Um, but if you missed it on a, a top spin shot, it would literally keep going. Like we've never hit the fence, the window, uh, so much uh, in our lives. So a um, lot, a lot of power. But I feel like if you missed a couple strings, like if you probably hit in this open area here, it would just take off. It would be gone. It's a trampoline. Yeah, like just fly time on this. I mean, it's slicing. This is definitely a slicing racket definitely a slicing racket you play with this and you slice only because that's what it's good for um any final thoughts guys no i just don't want to play with that racket okay. ever again yep no he he couldn't <laughs> it's the first time i seen coach Gu lose control i was not and, very happy anymore. and lose his mind <laughs> on the court so well, we can blame the equipment this time blame you okay we can blame me the, the equipment whatever it's same sh anyways that was fun. I just wanted to Coach Chris? Uh, can I give a special shout out? Oh, sure. Coach Chris wants to give a special shout out. Go for it. All right. So, special shout out to the players um, at Soto in the, um, in the players' house Hugo, uh, Dom, and Adrian. Thanks for watching that last uh, video of you guys doing the overgrip, um, the pros way, the secret way how the pros put their overgrip on. I helped you guys out, and it seems like you guys 
uh, have taken a liking to it. So keep striking it. Shout out to the Soto Academy and the players out there. Thank you, guys. Um, thank you for housing my man, too, and taking care of him. All right, guys. So if you want to do this, um, I, I, we tested it already. As you can just see, I don't recommend it. But if you got nothing else better to do and you're a tinkerer, um, maybe – Maybe Coach Chris had a good idea. Maybe do all the mains and do every other cross or do every other main and do all the crosses because um, it definitely needs more string to, to keep the ball in order. Okay, so test it if you like. We probably are going to cut this out real soon uh, right now. Okay, Coach Goo, thank you for joining me today. Where can we find you? You can find me at ag.tennis. I'll also be posting content there as well. All right. So, Coach Chris, you can find me at CB Chen Tennis. I'll post uh, the similar content there as well. All right. Thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. <laughs>